Let's do another version of looking at this. Let's check um, has a card with exited. So we're looking for is there a relationship between these two things? Um, we're going to use Excel stat. We'll do a correlation test with contingency tables. And this time, instead of building a contingency table first, we're just going to be able to select or switch from the table to actually the variables. Um, so my rows is whether or not you have a card. My column. going to be exited. And it created this contingency table for us. So that's the same thing we would get with a pivot table. And then it went ahead and calculated our values. So we can take this and we can reproduce what they did. So I'm just going to come up with same tables here All right so this is our observed table and we need to have one that's expected oh I'm going to paste this as values. Okay. All right. So this will be my row total times my column total divided by n. I'm sure there's a faster way to do this, but let's go through just multiplying to get my expected values. Great. So now I have my expected values and my observed values. I'm going to copy these over here. I think this is easier. And now I need to take these, copy. Um, I'm going to paste values, take these, copy, and paste as values. So this is observed, this is expected, diff, diff, squared, divide by expected, chi, squared. Right, those are just my different steps. Observed minus expected. Take my difference squared divided by expected. Um, Okay, I didn't do this right. Okay, that number wasn't right. So, so it's this value divided by this value. Here we go. Now we're talking. All right, that's what we got. 
what's this value? Let's see here. All right. So that, that's what we calculated. That's what they calculated. Perfect. Everything is the same. Um, so So we can see this a little easier. This is equal to chi squared dot inv probability 0.95 degrees of freedom 1. Degrees of freedom is 1. P value is equal to chi squared dot dist. My x is this. My degrees of freedom is 1. Whether or not it's cumulative um, is false. All right. So not exactly the same here. Yeah, OK. Um, just a different way of calculating than that, but the result here, the interpretation is the same. Right. So a couple of missteps um, here, but that that happens, and then we just try and figure out why the numbers didn't look right, and uh, do it again.